Okay, so I'm going to tell the solution for Arumo P5. This way, so the summation we're given, we're given is I going from one to n root of k it i to the k by k minus one a i to the k plus one and then given that this is equal to so first we'll apply amgm on this number occurring numbers occurring k minus one times and the one so we get that k minus 1 ai to the k plus 1 by k is at least k root of ai k into k minus 1 which is ai to the power k minus 1. So k minus 1 ai to the k plus 1 is at least k ai to the k minus 1. So using this what we get is This summation square root of k ai to the k by k minus one ai to the k plus one is at most because this inequality we get sigma i going from one to n square root of k ai to the k upon k ai to the k minus 1. This is equal to sigma i going from 1 to n root of a. And we get that this is equal to n. So sigma i going from 1 to n root of a i is at least 1. But we do to RMS in particular causes for them. What we can get is that square root of A1 plus square root of A2 plus square root of AN and whole square is at most N times A1 plus A2 plus A. This follows on Cauchy Schwartz or RMS inequality and this is equal to n square. Using this, what we get is that sigma i going from 1 to n root of a i is at most n, which is the exact like, but you also have this inequality. So we must have equality everywhere. So we must have equality in get equality in this inequality and as we are applied amgm over here all these terms must be equal so we get that ai to the k is equal to one for all i that means ai is equal to one for all so the only solution to this is all numbers are one which it clearly works because you can substitute a equal to 1 and then we get that each term in the numbers. So term is equal to 1 in both summations. So this is the only solution. And that completes the proof.